<coughs> Hello, my darling loves. Welcome to your love reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. All right, my loves, let's go ahead and get started. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits, and God's clarity, guidance, and love messages. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Taurus, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Taurus, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What messages, what do Taur my Taurus need to know for Mercury retrograde, please? What do my Tauruses need to know for this upcoming Mercury retrograde, please? Holy Spirit angel spirits and guides what do my Tauruses need to know so we have the ace of cups we have the two of cups we have the two of pentacles and we have the ten of cups we have the six of swords we have the death card scorpionic energy the eight of cups and the queen of cups cancer scorpio pisces energy the hermit virgo energy the four of pentacles the three of pentacles and the moon cancer piscean energy taurus there is someone new coming into your life i feel like this is a soulmate connection there's a strong soul tie between you and this person I feel like this person can offer you the love that you deserve, but there's, there's something that is, um, standing in between you and this person. I feel like you're still in the process of leaving something behind. You haven't truly closed out a chapter yet. I feel like you still have love for somebody and you're still in the process of walking away. You're still in the process of walking away. You do realize that you should pull away from the situation. You do realize that you should work on the things that actually do provide stability in your life, the things that are stable. But with the moon card, it's almost like I just can't help it. I can't help the fact that I love this person. I can't help it. You know, we have the chariot, Cancerian energy. Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, and the Four of Swords. I feel like you have an option here, Taurus. I feel like there is someone in the picture here, someone who is very kind, committed, loyal, someone that can offer a very nurturing, healing type of energy in your life. The Sun card, Leo energy, the King of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy, and the Tower. But I feel like you're going to come to this realization, Taurus, that the emotion isn't there for you just yet. You're choosing this connection because your mind is telling you it's kind of like having that checklist on paper of, yeah, this person has this and yeah, this person has that, but that spark isn't there. That love isn't there. So this person looks good on paper, but they're not fulfilling that emotional need right now. And it's probably because emotionally you're somewhere else. Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy, the Empress, Aries, Taurus, Libra, Cancerian, Energy, and the Ten of Pentacles. I feel here that, um, Taurus, there's someone coming towards you with a lot of love. Someone that wants marriage. Someone that wants to invest with you. You have someone that wants forever with you, Taurus. Um, problem is, though, with the Devil card, Capricorn energy, the Three of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Four of Wands, um, you may tell this person that you're with them. You may tell this person that you're with them. But you're going to be very slow to commit here because you're still heartbroken over someone else. This is a connection. It's a strong soul tie connection, but it's based. There's, there's, I don't want, I hate to say lies. I hate to say lies, but your heart isn't fully in this. Your heart's not fully in this. Oh, excuse me. We've got um, the full card. Aries energy. We have the Two of Wands, we have the Five of Wands, and we have Temperance. I feel like maybe you took the risk and decided to pursue other options. Maybe you wanted to, maybe you made this choice to make your person jealous, this person that you really wanted to get back. Um...
I feel like you thought it would bring you peace, but it's not. It's not Taurus. I feel like you jumped too quickly into something new. We have the Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy, the King of Swords, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, and the Five of Pentacles. You see here, so what we have is the King and Queen of Pentacles, which I feel is the newer connection. And we've got the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords, which is the connection that has gone cold. Okay, one of them has to be left behind, Taurus. You either have to leave this new connection behind or you have to leave behind the old. Something has to be left behind here, Taurus. Something has to end. We have the Eight of Swords energy. We have the Five of Cups. I feel like you feel bad, Taurus. You feel bad that you're still stuck on this past person. It makes you feel guilty. Um, the Magician, Virgo, Gemini, Energy, the Seven of Swords, and the Nine of Cups. You're ma you feel guilty here, Taurus, because you're manifesting your wish fulfillment. You're manifesting this person back into your life. And if this person should come back into your life, you would drop this new connection in a heartbeat. And you feel bad. It does. It makes you it makes you feel bad. We have the six of wands here. We have the lovers card, Gemini energy. We have the seven of wands and we have the knight of swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. I feel like someone thought that there would be victory in bringing another person into the picture somebody thought that it would feed their ego do you see what i'm saying like it would feed their ego having competition um but i feel like someone's starting to realize that you know maybe they need to pull back because they moved too fast someone here definitely there's an energy of i moved too fast page of swords aquarius gemini libra energy the six of cups and the star yeah someone here is still watching and stalking an ex now taurus if this isn't you it could be your person okay it could be your person so taurus you may have an ex that it would appear it would appear that this person moved on that they're happy if you look at them on social media that everything's fine it's not fine it's not fine this person is realizing that maybe they moved on too quickly um yeah, someone here is still watching an ex. They still want an ex. Their wish fulfillment is still this ex. We've got the strength card, Leo energy, and we have the three of cups. Um, I feel like someone here is going to start pulling away from the third party. Two of swords and the seven of pentacles. Yeah, someone here is realizing that they're in a connection that they no longer want to invest in because of the fact that there's not much there. We've got the ace of pentacles and the eight of wands. I mean, let me not say that. Let me not say that there's not much there. If you if someone should move forward with this new person, there could be a lot of prosperity, but the problem is is that emotionally, like it's it looks good on paper, Taurus. It looks the offer that's being presented to you looks good on paper. See, you're looking at the offer. It does. It looks really, really good, you know, but you know the truth. The Ace of Swords, you know the truth. Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy, and the Emperor. Um, you're waiting for an apology to come in or you want to give an apology. You know who your heart belongs to, okay? And it belongs to the third party. Queen of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, Energy. Um, we've got the Wheel of Fortune and the King of Wands. Taurus, you're being divinely guided uh, back towards your person. It's like you have this fire passion for this third party energy. So you have a soulmate coming into your life. You've got two soulmates here. So you have someone that you can live happily ever after with. Someone that if you move forward, you know, you can live happily ever after with this person. But I feel like this wheel is constantly turning you towards this, this other connection, Taurus. Now... If it's not you, it's your person. If it's not you, it's your person. Um, but it's like no matter how far you guys stray, no matter how far someone here strays, they always come back to this connection. Okay, they always come back to this connection. All right, guys, I love you and take care. Bye.